the sleep cycle or the circadian rhythm. You know, what is the circadian rhythm? Hi, this is Cosmic Mike and welcome to another episode of Vedic Monday. You know, I've heard uh, a lot about the sleep cycle, you know, um, during my years in circadian rhythm. And a lot of the Western medicine, of course, defines the circadian rhythm, something that's in the nerves, um, brain cells of the hypothalamus where it relates to the day and light, day and night light, and what's coming in through your eyes and the optic nerve, and that's where it sends signals to the hypothalamus to produce certain hormones or to signal the, the the other peripherals in the body or the organs, which correspond to this cycle. But you know, in the Vedic text, there are a lot of these cycles, not just your sleep cycle, and. It's all related to the day, the sunset, the sunrise, the moons, you know, the cycle, uh, the months, the week. And of course, we have different ones in, this, in, in our bodies that relate to the environment as nature, uh, more than just the sleep cycle, the circadian rhythm, uh, the digestive, uh, the menstrual cycle, the life cycle, the birth cycle, or the, all these cycles basically they're very much closely related to our environment and how that affects us in these cycles. And if we are tuned into these cycles where we are performing or managing our system according to those, or the daily or the monthly or the weekly uh, and the yearly, we are much more in rhythm with our system. And today I wanted to look at, of course, uh, the digestive cycle. You know, a lot of these uh, we'll, we'll cover the sleep cycle uh, on the next uh, chapter and we'll cover the menstrual cycle and the birth cycle also. Um, so basically it takes the light from the sunrise and it affects our system where it tells the brain this is the time for that certain organ or that cell or that DNA to be turned on. And of course at night when or at um, sun is setting, it kind of stimulates other hormones where we are, it helps us to sleep. So in the digestive uh, cycle, there is a particular time where our digestive fire is the strongest. And that is between 10, between basically 12 noon to 2 p.m. That's when the sun is right in the middle on top of your head. And that's where your digestive fire is the strongest. And that's where you want to have more of your meal, basically having your heavier meal, your pasta or your rice or anything else which is heavier or quantity wise. That's the main meal of the day. Not necessarily the breakfast, but the main meal should be 12 noon and 2 p.m. And you, because your body is signaling from that clock of the sun where it knows these, this is the time I'm going to produce or you should be producing all those juices to digest the food. And this is where you're active in the midday, you're running around, your cortisol is high, your highest point really is about that point uh, in the cortisol. And so having a meal at night when or sunset after seven when it's already dark and your digestive fire is very low and having a big steak or in a restaurant having a big meal at that time most likely you are not going to be able to digest that completely and that's where you are storing uh, basically all that food so a lot of weight gain diabetes a lot of those issues can come up with that where your pancreas or your liver is really active in that midday to push that insulin to balance that sugar. You know, so starting with a small breakfast, a heavy lunch, and a very light dinner is the most appropriate way to make sure you maximize your absorption and maximize or use that high strength of that Agni, which we spoke about in the last uh, few weeks ago, during that mid-afternoon and really managing your diet, or really managing your food and the quantity at that point in time. So it's very important where we schedule ourselves to do everything on a schedule because the brain understands and it becomes a habit. So when at nine o'clock in the morning or 8.30 in the morning when you're having your eggs or you're having your little uh, oatmeal, it knows 
there is something small that's going to come in it's going to produce some juices when it knows by 12 noon 12 30 you are going to have that big meal it's getting ready to absorb that huge meal that you're going to have so your saliva is much more um, prominent is more in quantity your juices are more in quantity it's getting ready and then when you're having this lighter meal at night where it understands well you know what he's not going to be or she's not going to be having that much so i just need to produce enough to digest where it doesn't to deposit the, the excess fat or the excess food that's not being digested so there is a time and place for everything and time to eat generally the bigger meal is your noon and we'll talk about the other cycles uh, as we proceed i think the next big cycle is the sleep cycle which a lot of people need to understand where a lot of people are having these issues with their sleep at night so it is hope that helps and this is cosmic mike hope you have a great night enjoy the rest of the week i'll talk to you again on vitamin wednesday thank you